Hey, how you doing? This is Miss Clipper with ACDC Econ Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to talk about one that's been on the AP test for like the last two or three years straight. The difference between a lump sum subsidy and a per unit subsidy. It applies also to taxes, the same concept, but this time I'm going to show you with subsidies. I'm going to show you the concept, I'm going to show you how a lump sum will affect some of the cost curves and per unit affects some of the other cost curves. And most importantly, one affects marginal cost and the other one doesn't. Okay, I'm going to show you that concept. I'm going to show you in 60 seconds. Lump sum. Lump sum is a one-time payment to a company. We're talking about subsidies here. So they're going to give them $500, one-time event, boom, $500. Okay, that's going to affect their fixed cost. If that affects their fixed cost, that means it's only going to affect average fixed cost and average total cost, not marginal cost. That's important because marginal cost is like a supply curve. That tells us how much to produce. Over here, per unit uh, subsidy is like a $1 subsidy on every single unit produced. So if you produce another unit, $1 subsidy. And so it's going to affect your variable costs. So if this affects your variable costs, then it's going to affect your average variable costs, your average total costs, and most importantly, your marginal costs. So let's see if we're going to actually apply it. Here's Monopoly. Here's the quantity from Monopoly, where MRI equals MC, and the price. I don't have an ATC just to prove my point here. Here's the quantity that society wants to produce, where marginal cost hits demand. This is the quantity like for perfect competition, where that would normally be. The question is, do you put a lump sum or a per unit subsidy to get the monopoly to produce what you want? A per unit subsidy. A per unit subsidy would shift marginal cost and it would decrease it right down to here, right? Decreases the, the marginal cost of the firm and now the firm will produce where marginal cost hits marginal revenue and they'll produce a quantity the society wants produced. Good. A lump sum wouldn't do that. A lump sum would just affect ATC. It wouldn't affect the marginal cost. And that's the concepts. Till next time.